Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're just gonna chill out and play with some new makeup. I am really excited because my Glamlight Horror Collection orders have been coming in and I'm just really excited about it. We're gonna play with some products from the Ghostface collection and the Friday the 13th collection. My order has not come from the Freddy collection yet, but I also have some other newer products I wanted to try out. So yeah, let's dive into it. <music> I have my Diet Coke, I'm ready to go. Okay, right, starting off with lips because I need something on my lips. They're a little dry right now. We're gonna start off with the Ghost Face Black Cherry Lip Duo. So this comes with a lip scrub and a lip mask. This is in the Black Cherry scent. This is Glamlight's second time introducing a product like this in, into their collections. We last saw this in the Scooby-Doo collection, but these are a lot smaller than I thought. I, I'm, I was so shocked to see that these were a lot smaller than the Scooby-Doo ones, but the price was still the same. So we're gonna start with the lip mask. It smells really good. This is what the lip mask looks like. Let's see. Oh wow, it is tinted. This smells really good. It kind of like feels like a lip oil. In a way, it's not super thick. This one is the Ghost Face palette. I actually just posted a YouTube short using this palette, so if you wanna go and check that out. I really wanna play with the Friday the 13th palette. This is so cool. I really, really like this packaging. And I really love the color story of this palette. This definitely does scream Friday the 13th to me. I also picked up the brush set from the Friday the 13th collection. This is a four piece brush set and we are absolutely going to use these today because hello. How could I not use these? I really like Glamlight's brushes. I feel like their brushes have really, really good quality to them and they're really nice. I did pick up the mirrors that are in all three of the horror collections. I feel like this is such a fun collector's item and I'm really excited to have this. Since we're using Friday the 13th palette, we're gonna use the mirror today. Really nice mirror. I can see my face in both of these. I'm loving that Glamlight is coming out with products like this that are just so different, but I love it. Especially if you're a collector, I think you're gonna really like it. These two shades are calling my name. I also really like how this shade looks. I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm gonna start by placing this shade in the outer corner. I really love Glamlight's brushes. Like, I don't know why I didn't pick up two of these. I'm just gonna build it up a little bit just to get that intensity that I want. Even though people were getting their packages late from all these horror collections, I do feel like the color stories are perfect for the fall and even for the winter. This honestly gives me Christmas vibes, <laughs> so which is so weird. I'm just gonna take some of Camp Counselor. I'm just gonna keep the same brush and I am going to see how this shade looks in the inner part of this look. I kind of like that ombre effect. Oh, these shadows are blending out so nicely. I'm just more so excited for the shimmers. I love glam light shimmers. I'm gonna go into Your Doomed and I'm actually going to go ahead and start to deepen up this outer corner and just pack it on and then blend. I'm really liking Can't High, but I also wanna go in with this, this shade called Nightmare. These shimmers do feel a little bit more harder pressed, but we're gonna see how they look on the eyes. So I'm just gonna start off with Nightmare, and I'm just gonna go in with my finger. Wow, that is very pretty. Very, very pretty shade. That is stunning. I think I might want to take this lighter green right here, and I'm actually gonna take this little flat brush right here, we're gonna go into the shade X, and I'm gonna put this in the inner corner. I might have to use my finger. That might not even be light enough. Oh yeah, that is perfect. I'm really shocked though, because these shimmers do not really feel like the shimmers I'm used to from Glamlight. I mean, they still look really pretty on the eyes, but they're not softer pressed. They're actually a lot harder pressed than I was expecting which is very interesting. That is really, really pretty. Oh my goodness. I like this eye look that I created. I used five shades in the palette, 
The palette performed really beautifully. I just was a little bit surprised at how much harder pressed the shimmers were. I did my whole eye look with three out of the four brushes, so you definitely can create an entire eye look with this brush set. I love the detail in this, and I just feel like it's a great collector's item as well. I definitely will be using this brush to smudge out my lower lash line, so my whole eye look will be completed with just four brushes. I didn't have like a new foundation. I mean, this one is pretty new to my collection. This is the Dior Skin Glow Foundation. And then I also went in with my Cali Ray Primer. Now I do have two concealers. I mean, this is the LYS concealer I've been loving. It's new to my collection as well. I also have the new Kylie Cosmetics concealer. This shade is a little bit too light for me. So I am going to mix it with the LYS concealer today. So I'm just going to start with the LYS First, this is like the perfect everyday concealer. And I'm gonna take some of the Kylie one. This one's in the shade 7N, and the LYS concealer is in the shade DN3. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the Kylie right here in the inner part, just for a little bit of brightness. All my concealer brushes are wet, so I can't really use those today. I really like the Kylie concealer. I just need like a better shade. I haven't seen them go in stores at Ulta, so I haven't been able to like find my perfect shade, but I really do like the formula on that concealer. I pulled out my Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Where's the SPF, but I didn't know that I was doing a green look, so now I'm like, huh. Let's do something fun. Let's do pink. I literally have the prettiest like pink rainbow right here. So let's, let's oops, this shade is called Cowlick. And I'm going to take Cowlick higher up. They are a liquid to powder formula and I just, oh, I love it. Wow, just that little bit of Cowlick literally goes a long way. Moving down a step, we're gonna go into Pink Party. Just to put here. Ooh, this is so pretty. I'm just gonna take that on the apples a little bit. That's pretty. Oh, I love his blushes. Then we have Cold Heart, which is a lot lighter. I don't know about Cold Heart, guys. Cold Heart is giving bubblegum pink, and I don't know. Should we just, like, do a little tiny? This kind of looks like that Patrick Ta shade. I don't know. Just kind of, like, mixed in Cold Heart a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty, actually. Since we have all the pink blush, let's go in with the pink setting powder. This one's from Dominique Cosmetics. It's going to add a little bit of brightness, but I just feel like this is going to mesh so well with the pink blush that I just went in with. I have not worn a pink blush in a minute. I've just been wearing like more berry toned kind of blushes. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with my favorite bronzer, the Make Beauty bronzer. This, you already know. I love this bronzer so much and I'm hoping for Black Friday they have some good sales because I will buy the refills. That's my favorite thing about this bronzer is that it does have refills. Let's finish up this eye look. I'm gonna just take, basically I'm gonna do exactly what I did in the crease on the lower lash lines. So I'm gonna take this darker green right here and then this lighter pink right, pink, oh my God, this lighter green in the inner corner. I'm gonna use this brush that I have not used yet. I have tried so many lippies and I'm still, playing around with a lot of lippies. I did get a PR package from Estate Cosmetics. This was my first time trying anything from them. They reached out to me and I was like so excited because I love trying new makeup brands and I love discovering new makeup brands. And I tried three of the lipsticks. I'll put up a little TikTok on the screen that I did. And when I tell you, I was really shocked by how thin the formula was but how much pigment it had. So I have that. I have the new refined gloss that I got. I haven't really had the time to try this yet. So if I do use one of the Estate lipsticks, I'm gonna top it with the refined gloss. And then I have these Kylie Cosmetics matte lip crayons, which I have really been loving. They're not drying. And I've been reaching for these a lot. So I just pulled these out. I don't know if I'm gonna use these. Allie Glynde sent over a PR package of her newest launch. She launched her own beauty brand. This is Revie Beauty. I have a video swatching all of these on Instagram and on TikTok, but I really like these. They're like a lip balm meets a lipstick meets 
I don't know. It's like a hybrid product and it's really, really good. And it's very buildable, which I like. So I just went in with the Sephora Collection Gel Lip Liner. And I don't know why I'm just realizing that when I put it on, I was like, wow, this kind of has like a little bit of a, like a shine to it. It's not matte. And then I read it and it's a gel. So that makes sense why it's not super matte, which is very interesting. Um, as far as the shades for a state, maybe we can do like a nude shade. This one is called Milky. Oh, that's, that's absolutely not nude, Tati. What are you doing? Ooh, this one's pretty. See, it kind of like, it's so hard to describe this formula. As you can see, it's kind of like a satin. I don't know if that shade's gonna work. Oh, I do like this shade Milky, which, oh, it's kind of dark. Mm. Milky's really pretty, but a little too dark for the vibes today. Oh my gosh, they look so different than how it looks on the box. Oh, butter might be really pretty though. Definitely not a shade that I'm used to, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at this. Fun fact about me, when I do my makeup, the one thing that I struggle the most with, because like I'm not a makeup artist, you know, I'm a makeup enthusiast. I like to have fun with makeup. I like to just do whatever I feel like doing. But when it comes to the lips, I struggle finding the perfect lip combo, figuring out what I want to wear. I just feel like certain colors just really do not look good on me. And I'm just like, I don't even want to be bothered. But, you know, here we are. So... I'm just gonna go with my go-to, the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Crayon and the shade Hits Different. I like this because it's a perfect nude. And I top this with a gloss. Refi Gloss in the shade Rosewood. Oh yeah, see, this is why I'm a gloss girl. This is why I'm a gloss girl. I need to fix this up because it's a little messy. Yeah, that... Yeah, that's me. That's me right there. Okay, see, all that struggling to find a lippy and this is what I got. Oh yeah, I like it. I'm like looking at the blush. I need some more. I need to add some more of this shade. I'm gonna add some more of Cowlick higher up on the cheeks. But I also wanted to share with you guys some other stuff I got from Glamlight, just in case you were curious and wanted to see how it looks. Um, I did pick up the Friday the 13th makeup bag, which is so cool. It is a lot smaller than I thought, but honestly, I wouldn't be mad if Glamlight included a bag this size like this in every collection. I just feel like this is such a fun and really cool collector's piece just to have in your collection. I also got the candle, which is so exciting that Glamlight is dabbling into candles. And this is a lot better than I expected it to be. I don't know what I was expecting for their first candle, but this just feels really high quality. It smells really good. It has like that black cherry no cherry it's cherry wood scent i wish that i bought two best believe when i finish this candle i will be saving this to hold brushes because i think this is such a good like brush holder oh this smells so good and it's strong like it smells really strong the makeup bag from the Ghostface collection which i also think is freaking cool like this is insane and it is look at the detail on this like the detail the detail is what got me. It's awesome and it has a front pocket and the back pocket has all of this space in here. Like you can fit so much in here. It goes really, really deep. Let's go ahead and recap what I tried today. Starting off with the Friday the 13th palette. This is definitely the standout for me today. This palette, I love. I haven't gotten the Freddy Krueger palettes yet, but I don't know. I really like this color story and I think this color story might be my favorite. I like how the other ones look, but this one just has everything that I would want in a grungy palette. I was a little bit surprised that the shimmers in this palette were a lot harder pressed than I was expecting. I'm really used to Glam White's shimmers being really creamy and soft. They're just a lot harder pressed, but as you can see, they still 
have an impact on the eyes. So I love this. I cannot wait to create another look with this palette. It is so good. Love the brushes. I think if I place another Glam Light order and if this collection is on sale for Black Friday. I would pick up another brush set. If you're a beginner and you don't really have a lot of brush sets in your collection, this is a really good one. I did my whole eye look with four brushes, which is amazing. These are really good quality. Love Glam Lights brushes. They're soft and they really do what they need to do. You guys know I love the Refi Gloss. It is so pretty and it lasts a while on the lips. I took a break and did not touch up my lips and it's still on. I only tried the lip mask of this little Ghost Face Duo. They are a lot smaller than the Scooby-Doo if you want a size comparison. Um, I can't wait to use the lip scrub. As far as everything else, they weren't really new products to me, but I just wanted to like recap the new products I tried today for the first time. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.